This is going to be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Introducing the champion from the City of Angels. Weighing in at 211 pounds. He is the NXT Champion, Nathan Mercer. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Many have written him off as champion, but he is determined to prove his doubters wrong. The Bruiser Weight. From Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Bruiser Weight, Pete Dunn. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunn does. Pete Dunne is going to be an all-time great before his career is said and done. There's no doubt about that. Bask in his glory. From Wichita Falls, Texas, weighing in at 320 pounds, Keith Lee. Yeah, I actually spoke to Keith Lee. I said, what makes you limitless? Why, why this nickname? And he said to me, I'm not bound by the perceptions of others. If I can do it, if I can dream it, it will be accomplished. The big man, quick feet, the agility of the former collegiate defensive lineman that he is. Won a number of championships in the independent ranks before coming to WWE. There to bask in his glory, Byron. Well, here comes the technical assassin of Legato del Fantasma. If Mendoza hears sarcasm in that, he'll meet you in the parking lot. Representing Legato del Fantasma from Cordoba, Veracruz, Mexico. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Raul Mendoza. Well, here's a man who grew up idolizing Eddie Guerrero. Well, Mendoza and Legato Del Fantasma continue to carry the torch of the lie, cheat, and steal mentality. This man spent four years in NXT trying to break through before joining Legato Del Fantasma. Santos Escobar and Joaquin Ron have taught Mendoza the discipline needed to reach new heights.
So much money, it ain't even funny. Here comes the richest man in NXT history. Saxton, maybe you should ask Grimes for a little loan. You can update that suit game. You know what? That's not a bad From idea. From Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. A trainee of the Hardy Boys who is now rich enough to buy the whole Hardy compound. That's amazing to think about, but actually a better reason to become friends with him. Maybe Cameron could buy somewhere for you to live so you can move out of your mom's basement. Hey, hey. Everything about Cameron Grimes is money. A diamond-encrusted hat on the inside. Saxon, that's why you're not allowed to touch Cameron's hat. Not even for like a minute? No. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! This is a man who is already one of the greatest NXT superstars in history but truly cemented his legacy by returning and dominating as NXT champion once again. Well, now he's set to dominate any roster that Finn Balor targets. You know, I don't know if it's just me, or does Finn Balor just keep getting cooler every year? Saxon, when it comes to being cool, you are one man I will never ask. You can see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. And there's no denying it, there is something special in the air during an NXT Championship match. Now, clearly this title reputation precedes it as a signifier of the next big star. Everyone's watching to see who could be the future face of sports. This is obviously about winning at all costs.
takedown. Fujiwara on bar. Oh, falls victim to a German suplex. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Rocking to neutral. It off. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. Forced out of the ring. Barakirana. This run is headed outside, guys. Driven down with an elevated flatliner. He climbs into the ring. And this match will head back to the ring. Power him in the corner. This is shoulder tackle in the corner. Look at this. He just tossed the ring. in victory. No doubt about it. The better superstar definitely won tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Now, I've been looking forward to this one.
As we get started here, let me remind everybody that the title is on the line here tonight. Yeah, but that's just a mere formality. The way I see it, there is no way we crown a new champion tonight. Many are predicting a title change here tonight, but this man is looking to prove otherwise. competitors in NXT history. Tick-tock, Doomsday has arrived. Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see from Karrion Cross. He is physically prepared. He is mentally prepared. This man is ready for this title opportunity. Introducing the challenger from Sin City, weighing in at 265 pounds, Karrion Cross. And introducing the champion from the City of Angels, weighing in at 211 pounds, he is the NXT Champion, Nathan. Defended all across the globe on sold-out takeovers. This NXT title has a lot of prestige. The path to the NXT Championship has led us to this. Another highly anticipated match. A lot of hype surrounding this one, Corey. The most hardcore fans always know they'll get their money's worth when it comes to matches. And oh, no. He can be caught here. Bad spot for him. It's not embarrassing to tap. And breaks the hole, but damage has been done. That catches Cross looking. Ooh, bullseye! Get him into the 
corner. One, two, boom, three. Just punishing their opponent. Exclamation point. against Cross here. Cross has a look of someone surprised to be in such a position. Nice takedown. to be for the challenger. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Unceremoniously deposited on the outside. Here's a pin for the title. Now a pin for the championship. Instantly he has his shoulders up. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Enough already. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Champ getting put on the back foot here. Andy denies cross. DDT. Cross gets out of the way. Scissors kick. Sucker. Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. He gets back into the ring. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Whoa. Saw that one coming. And responds with a counter of their own. He manages to escape it. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Boom. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. We are witnessing the beginning of the end. Oh! The demons are being summoned. A championship level move. Six. Re entering the ring now. I assure you, Karrion Cross was not expecting to be in this position. Leaving himself open here. Now, nah, guys, I can't think of a worse clip. Right hand connect. And Cross fends him off. And Cross has finally changed the tempo with that attack. Good chance for Cross to gain his wits about him. We're well into the match, and he still seems so fresh. It's almost unbelievable. Series of reversals. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Here we go. You ready for it? He's one step ahead there. To the gut, double under hook. Tiger Bomb! Oh. 
Double under off a glide. Up and face buster. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Sends him into the corner. High risk area up there. Will there be a reward? Hard right hand. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. at this point, some compassion and end this. Looking a little out of it, up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could... Uh-oh, second rope, this is gonna be nasty. This could be the nail in the coffin. Oh, think about the impact. The champion into the cover. statement victory by this guy tonight. With a win like that, you have to stand back for a moment and realize all your hard work paid off. They are ready for a fight. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 450 pounds, Nathan Mercer and Dexter Loomis. This superstar's offense has been upgraded thanks to training with WWE Hall of Famers Shawn Michaels and Road Dogg. Now he knows how to mix up offensive attacks and switch tempo during a match. The question is, can he take what he learned at the Performance Center and turn that into in-ring success? Make way for the Irish ace. This is going to be And their good. opponents first from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 180 pounds. He is the Irish ace, Jordan Devlin! 
Praised by Shawn Michaels as one of NXT's best competitors. And Jordan Devlin has won championships all around the world. And in NXT, it's why he's known as the Irish Ace. Hey, he's got a big ego. All attitude. But Jordan Devlin always backs it up in the ring. Confidence personified. The Messiah of the Backbreaker, ready to prove his worth on his own. And from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. A man who was once seen as honorable, once seen as respected. Who are you to decide what's honorable, Saxton? Roddy's the man. Roderick Strong, success has gone through the roof. I guess Roderick was willing to give up a part of himself to achieve success. It's amazing how easily it is to fill a hole in yourself with championship gold, Byron. team division and one of these teams is jockeying for position at the very top oh. and the exclamation point attack right to the sternum both wrists captured it that was nasty He got whipped into that corner. Consecutive attacks keeping Devlin off his game. But Devlin can't allow this burst to hinder him. Uh-oh. There's the backbreaker. Right across the chest. Face crusher. Brutal face buster. Tough position to be caught in here. Right on their face. Gets the tag. And set right into the corner. Slam. Leg drop across the throat. Well, now Loomis has a solid upper hand. Such a prime example of Loomis's calm aggression. Setting him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's... Perched in a dangerous position up top. 
It's about to get worse from here. Suplex. And set him up. Oh, the of the That's going to hurt. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. He's lost some of his win now. Roderick Strong being shown no mercy. Well, he's got to stop this surge. Oh, wow. It could be lights out. Oh, they're unstrapped. Legs are locked. Triangle. Got him. Is he going to tap? The official asking him, is he going to tap? Look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Oh, and a double foot stop. Producing a trampoline. Yeah, I wonder why. Landed with a neck breaker. The Irish curse. And Loomis able to reverse it. The impact that there's a submission. Give up now. Swallow your pride and submit. Just hang on. Hang on for just a little bit longer. He's risking permanent damage. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. To the gut, double under hook. Tiger Bomb! Two! And that's the win! Huge win here tonight! Here are your winners Nathan, Mercer, and Dexter Loomis. And these two really do make the perfect pair. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the City of Angels. Weighing in at 211 pounds, Nathan Mercer. This former indie competitor developed a cult fan following in the United States as videos of his matches started to get talked about. Thanks to social media, those fans are still with him as he builds the foundation of his career.
He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. The next big superstar to come out of Mexico, it's Hector Flores. And his opponent from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 202 pounds, Hector Flores. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man you don't want to be in front of right now. He's a man possessed is what he is. Oh! I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He kicks out instantly. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Reversal. What a counter. Oh, the arm's trapped. Oh, and a slam. Good God. That's devastating. Seen this before. Get ready. And Ray calls neck breaker. Power bomb. Oh, needed face. And now Flores is getting beaten down. Flores has run into a roadblock. Hooked up. Driven down. He can end it here. And quick getting the arm up. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. Great reversal. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, oh are you he's he's hitting, hitting me. The back of his neck. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. included. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems.
Uh, off the rope, into the roundhouse kick. He's on his heels a bit now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. I can't imagine what he has here. Over the top rope. Oh, I don't think he's done. On the move, about to take off. Out of this world, Spaceman Plancha. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Oh, oh no, no. enough to put Flores away. Re-enters under the ropes. the kind of win that can take their career to the next level. For a guy who's supposed to be WWE's next big lucha superstar, this was clearly a disappointing result for Hector Flores. It was, but you have to imagine Hector will be even hungrier in his next match out. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Big match here, guys, as the title will be on the line tonight. And the champ has looked dominant of late, but all it takes is one wrong move, and that title could be going home with somebody else. Social media buzzing as it always does when this competitor defends his title. This is going to be good. soul to find who this young man is. What's it about Johnny Gargano that makes him as good as he is today? Unparalleled heart. Johnny Gargano has been through it all in his career before arriving in WWE. And now that he's here, it's a dream come true. Johnny will not let his dream slip through his fingers. Johnny Gargano is that guy who's not gonna complain. He's not gonna cry over spilt milk. He's gonna keep working hard, keep putting in the time to achieve his goals. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, 
weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. And introducing the champion from the City of Angels, weighing in at 211 pounds, he is the NXT Champion, Nathan Mercer. It's time for our NXT Championship match, and the atmosphere is simply indescribable. And the WWE title matches get the headlines, but for my money, the NXT Champion is perhaps the toughest title holder in WWE. That's yeah, true. NXT attracts the best talent in the world, and they're all fighting to breathe the same rarefied air. You have to push yourself to places you didn't know existed to win this championship, and even further, to keep it. He's been placed in the corner now. Not where you want to be right now. Absolutely not. Uh-oh. Top rope in deep, deep trouble here. Looking to get a little creative. Butterfly suplex. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Oh, boy. Ready to strike, guys. What are we going to see? Big time knee, Lariat combo. Over the top rope he goes. He's going to fly. Spaceman Plancha. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Smash! Left hook! Cha-ching! Step up in Zaguri! Go oh, right to the kidneys! Golly. Three! A oh, jumping stop to the gut! Oh, and that startles Johnny! These two competitors keeping a safe amount of distance between one another. Seven. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. <laughs> Stay drop kick. Great ups. Has it hooked in. Inverted vertical suplex. The challenger eating up some damage. Adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe... Not allowing that to go on any longer. Oh, my God, what an elbow. Rapid fire. Oh, forearm. What a combo. Bang. He's returning fire. Whatever's planned here can't be good. Kick to the gut. Double under hook. Tiger bomb. Cyclone kick. The challenger not looking good right now. Not a bad place to be in, but the long. Double under hook. A black. Johnny finding an opening. Placed in the corner. 
Argano setting him up. Oh, locked up to the turnbuckle. Arm is trapped, and he makes it to the ropes. I knew he could. He's headed up top. Thinking big. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Tank off. Ooh. champion obviously not happy with this outcome i did not think a title change was in the cards here tonight The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from the City of Angels. Weighing in at 211 pounds, Nathan Mercer. This guy was respected everywhere he competed on the independence, but there were peaks and valleys when he trained with Booker T. He can be his own worst enemy, but Book gave him the crucial foundation he needed to make it to WWE.
A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! This is a man who is already one of the greatest NXT superstars in history but truly cemented his legacy by returning and dominating as NXT champion once again. Well, now he's set to dominate any roster that Finn Balor targets. You know, I don't know if it's just me, or does Finn Balor just keep getting cooler every year? Saxon, when it comes to being cool, you are one man I will never ask. You can see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. of a good challenge. Balor loves being pushed to... Oh, my goodness! Moonsault! That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. And Finn heads him off at the pass. And another counter. Strike, guys. What are we gonna see? Big time knee lariat combo. He's absorbed some damage already. Arm trapped. On oh, a slam. Balor having trouble shifting the tides. Finn yeah. really having trouble with this defense. Eight. Uh oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Should have listened to the count.
Let's not forget the title is on the line here tonight. How can I forget? I've been looking forward to this match for a long time. The pressures of being champion are very real, but this guy is ready for it. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. The first ever Universal Champion, a multiple time Intercontinental Champion, NXT titles. What can't the Prince do? Oh, it seems like year after year, Finn Balor just reaches greater heights in his career. You know, I don't know if it's just me, or does Finn Balor just keep getting cooler every year? Saxton, when it comes to being cool, you are one man I will never ask. You see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. Introducing the challenger from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! And introducing the champion from the City of Angels, weighing in at 211 pounds, he is the NXT North American Champion. Nathan Mercer! Here we go. This is what it's all about. The NXT North American Championship is on the line. The NXT North American Championship has quickly become one of the most revered titles in our industry. Corey, what does it mean for the superstar that holds that title? Well, as we're about to find out, it means you are the fightingest champion on the hottest sports entertainment brand in the world. It means you're a tireless competitor willing to do anything to steal the show. The knees to the lungs. Check this out, just deadlifted up into a power bomb. And the exclamation point. Uh oh, not a good place to be. Series of kicks in the corner. Exclamation point. Balor's lost momentum here. Finn Balor's under the gun. Oh, you can 
tell he... Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Looking for, yeah, the inverted figure four leg lock. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh my God, we're gonna have a new champion. Just powered out. Forearm club. Sidekick finds the mark. Hooked up. DDT. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. And Bowers' attack gets cut off. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Sidewalk slam. Oh, costly error there. Allison. Stomping. Ouch. One way out of the situation. Here comes Balor. Finn Balor. Slip leg. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Balor's got him hooked. Up and down. 1916. Balor makes the climb. He's got him in the crosshairs. From the top. One scouted. Oh man, over the top. And I think there's more to come, Corey. Here we go. Out of this world, Spaceman Plancha. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast. Uh oh. Well, I think I know what's coming next. Get ready. Yes! The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. From the apron. Moves off from the apron. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Sure, he's popping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. I was not expecting that from him at this point. And a basement drop kick. And he's able to reverse. Oh my God! Oh, you oh, you kidding me? Back of his neck. The challenger is in some big trouble. Not what you want to see by any means. <laughs> Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. Definitely not where you want to be. Oh, my God! to get back inside. Kick to the gut. Double under Hunt. Tiger Bomb. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Fly double under hook up and down face first. The champ has this one in hand now. Dangerous spot for him to be in. He's got to figure out a way to. These two 
F5 tooth and nail. Wait a second. Is that a... Is that a... Is that a... Is that a Lights out. And Balor's being picked apart now. Finn is being worked on heavily. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And this one might be headed ringside. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his... Saving us from having to sit through that. From the apron! Oh, straight to the floor! Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Oh, man! Stomping down! Finn gets stopped in his tracks. Both wrists captured. And... He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. He's got that glint in his eye, that sadistic look that only comes when ladders enter the equation. Answering back into the ring now. He steps foot in the ring again. Double knee backbreaker. Shoulders down. Championship of the line. The champ with a surprisingly quick kick out. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. He switches it back around. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Steer clear of that. Kick to the gut. Double under hook. Tiger ball. Look at this. Oh, the the cover with the title on the line. New champion. New champion. Amazing. How's that for a counter? On the way to the top of the ladder. Tonight is definitely a night to celebrate, but let's not lose sight of the fact they have a long road ahead of them now. At least, if they're lucky. Oh, come on, Corey. Don't be such a party pooper. We've got a new champion! Not sure if you've heard, but there's a superstar shakeup approaching. 
How do you think that's going to turn out for me? Since you're a main eventer here on NXT, I'll leave that up to you. You can be protected from switching brands, or you can be eligible. It's your call. Anything else I should know? There's a stipulation saying that any champions who go to another brand will be forced to vacate their titles. That pretty much covers it. I think a potential change of scenery sounds good. Put me in the shakeup. All right. All superstars participating in the shakeup must compete this week so the other GMs can see them in action. I have heard Adam Pearce likes to scout singles matches, while Mandy Rose prefers to evaluate tag team competition. So basically, which GM do you want to cater to? I'd rather impress Mandy to better my chances of going to Raw. So put me in a tag match. Done. And if this is it, well, it's been interesting. It sure has. The following contest is a six-man tag team match on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 652 pounds. Nathan Mercer, Kushida, and Damian Priest. Some fans first heard of this competitor when he had a tryout match at a WWE Live event. He looked great that night, but he's taking things to a whole new level now. It's a feel-good story for him, and I respect that he paid his dues, but we'll see how he handles the pressure at this moment. Austrian anomaly. And many would say the toughest competitor in all of Europe. Beyond Europe, Saxton, Walter's on his way to dominating the entire globe. And their opponents first, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. The this guy's been UK champion for over 800 days. That marks the longest title reign since Hulk Hogan's first WWE Championship. Well, let's not get carried away now. It's not like he's battling the likes of Randy Savage, Andre the Giant. Hey, facts are facts, Michael. And right now, Walter seems unstoppable. But I agree with your point, Byron. He has been an incredible champion. Unbelievable. Over 800 days. If somehow Walter's massive frame doesn't overpower you, his grappling skills absolutely will. The ring general about to remind the world why the mat is sacred to him. one and from Wichita Falls Texas weighing in at 320 pounds Keith Lee a truly exceptional athlete built like a tank but moves like a fighter jet yeah, but once that bell rings, you can expect a thunderous assault. An athlete with a rugged southpaw style that's extremely tough to prepare for. Yeah, Keith Lee makes it easy when he lights opponents up. Or sending them through the mat. That's right. Lee ready to get down to business. Keith Lee's body coursing with adrenaline. 
And Lee will take any opportunity to showcase his incredible power. So much money, it ain't even funny. Here comes the richest man in NXT history. Saxton, maybe you should ask Grimes for a little loan. You can update that suit game. You know what? That's not a bad and idea. And from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. So you could say Cameron Grimes is similar to the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, but even classier. A diamond encrusted hat on the inside. Saxon, that's why you're not allowed to touch Cameron's hat. Not even for like a minute? No. Considering the superstar shakeup is right around the corner. You have to think William Regal, Adam Pierce, and Mandy Rose will all be watching tonight's action very closely. And not just the GM Saxon, the entire WWE universe knows this could be the last time we see one of these marquee superstars on NXT. Getting set up for something in the corner. That certainly wasn't pretty. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well. Uh oh, from our power. Sit out, Chuck Slam.
Walter denies the attack. He turns it around. Double axe handle. What a counter. Whack. Oh, oh God. Shifts it back onto him. getting pushed out into the defensive. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Uh-oh. Ouch. Is that what it takes to beat Walter? We're about to take a trip south of heaven. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, another oh, one for good measure. Oh, one handed. There's the tag. Right hand, vicious in Zaguri. One step ahead of Kushida there. Oh, what a counter! Oh, my, a chubby DDT, absolutely planted. The setup. Oh no, we're gonna see it. Oh, penalty kick right to the arm. Down, looking for the arm. There it is, the hoverboard lock. Buddy, there's the save. How close was that? Into the turnbuckle. And Lee turns the tables. Another reversal. Eye for eye here. Tag made here. What do they have in mind? Oh, oh man! Oh, gosh! They're and not they're not over yet! That was incredible! He gets tagged in. for the tag. Yeah. Kick to the gut. Double <laughs> under hook. Tiger ball. Yeah. To the gut. Double under hook. Are we going to see it? It's the Dragon Sleeper. Submission locked in tight. No and the rope forces the break. Great effort, though. And just like that, he said, crashing to the floor. <laughs> Drop kicked all the way to the floor. Roll behind. German suplex. The Dragon Sleeper. Will this match end on a submission on a tap? Dragon Slayer just getting 
left. Twisted up. And you imagine what it would be. I thought they had it won. But he makes the save. It doesn't get any closer than that without the bell ringing. Set right out of the ring. a lot in other places, but let's see how he does here on the red brand. Then we'll talk. I've been watching a lot of old Andre the Giant matches recently. <laughs> Nothing like a big man doing big man things. I mean, can you imagine what it would have been like to face him in his prime? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the City of Angels. Weighing in at 211 pounds, Nathaniel Mercer. This superstar's offense has been upgraded thanks to training with WWE Hall of Famers Shawn Michaels and Road Dogg. Now he knows how to mix up offensive attacks and switch tempo during a match. The question is, can he take what he learned at the Performance Center and turn that into in-ring success?
He is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in his big time match. He is the first true giant in the history of the WWE, the eighth wonder of the world. That's an understatement, Saxton. Andre makes grown men look like children. And his opponent from Grenoble, France, weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant! When you talk about unmatched supremacy, you are looking at one of the building blocks of WWE in Andre the Giant. And here's the first WWE Hall of Fame inductee. There is no one more deserving of that honor. You're looking at a well-traveled superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. There's nothing you can throw at this competitor that can phase him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that wisdom. Ooh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. It can't be understated how much that could have just saved this match. Lights out, Cyclone kick. And set him up. Oh, the the hands. That's gonna hurt. All the giant answers back. Foot to the belly. Powerless position to be in right now. Producing a trampling. Hits him with the counter. And it's handled from the middle rope. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Going airport. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Oh. Yeah. He's got him down. Is this it? Kicks out of the pinfall attempt. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. guys no contest this is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation
It's stressful always being on high alert. Never know who's going to come after me and my title. But this really helps. Oh yeah, that's it. Keep going, right there. Damn, I guess the reviews were right. You do have strong hands. Okay, easy now. Time to flip over onto your back now. Hey, what the hell? Come on, ref. Our truth can never get a moment to relax. Not as long as he has the 24-7 championship. The hottest potato in WWE being contested the 24-7 championship. It's the best title ever, Michael. What other championship is... Oh, my God. And look at this now, bad intentions coming with this hold. Just twisting away. Well, this isn't gonna win the fall, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. That's Tap it, out. that's it. Cyclone Oof. kick. Power bomb. Oh, knee to the face. That was nasty. Got to find a way to get out of this. Crashing through the table. That's a bad landing. Bad predicament right here. Mitsunoku driver. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, catches a kick to the face. Oh, stomping away. Truth gets out of the way. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. We are witnessing the beginning of the end. Black mass. Good night. And attacking above the shoulders has One, become the strategy two, here. Three. Yes, new champ. Seriously? I didn't even get one minute to celebrate. Enjoy your 24-7 championship reign while you can. All right, get back here. Big win over our truth champ. Thanks. You're not mad I beat your friend? If I got mad every time he lost a 24-7 championship, I'd be a very angry person. <laughs> Good point. I actually wanted to ask a favor. I'm always looking to improve my in-ring skills, and since you seem to be on a roll, would you watch my next match and let me know what you think? Yeah, sure. No problem. Thanks. And there you see the 24-7 champion checking out Carmella's match. Looks like he's seen enough. Wait, our truth from behind. What's going on here? It, it looks like we have a communication breakdown backstage. And, oh my God, there they go. A backbreaker now. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out.
Had that one scouted. Oh! 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 He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. R-Truth with a nice reversal. Got him where he wants. And he's able to reverse. Lights out, Cyclone Kick. It's like setting up for a suplex. Looking to finish things off. Oh, wow! Oh, God, that'll rearrange your skull. Being carried around with ease. Now, trampling the opposition. Oh, it is over. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Michinoku driver. No, no, their eyes, their eyes. Oh, the mist! The mist! They're blind! Makes the cover! One, two! Three! And this one is over. Hello, Mr. McMahon. I'm here for the meeting you requested. <laughs> Made me wake up early to come down here, then you're nowhere to be found. Nice. Hello, Mr. McMahon? Anyone? Ha <laughs> ha, hey there, pal. Just getting a last second workout in over here. Come on over and join me. Let's see what you're made of.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the City of Angels. Weighing in at 211 pounds, Nathaniel Mercer. I have to give this guy props. He was told he'd never leave the shows in the school gyms and community centers. That he was, quote, good for his hometown. Uh, he risked everything in his life to get here. He had no plan B. It was make it the WWE or nothing. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. Ah, 
the dirtiest of dogs, the show off. And one of the toughest veterans on the entire WWE roster. And his opponent representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. One of WWE's most accomplished superstars, a multi-time world champion, multi-time intercontinental champion, multi-time tag team champion. Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE. Uh, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. What are you expecting from this superstar tonight, guys? Well, he did say earlier that he's going to attack his opponent with a renewed hostility that we've never seen before. Yeah, he also said he's going to make the competition bank for mercy. And for Dolph coming into this one, I think you need to strip away all the talk on social media, all the interviews. They're all just smoke screens. Trust me, Dolph's coming in with sinister thoughts. Yeah, Ziggler has always been a master of diversion, always using out-of-the-ring tactics to distract his opponents from the vicious in-ring wrestling threat that he is. Exclamation point! He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, what a flip left. Incredible. Ah, oh, jeez. And there's Dolph being out-wrestled. He has a right where he wants him. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. Ziggler now lacking any signs of resistance. Dolph's having trouble assessing the situation. Lights out, Cyclone kick. Check this out, just deadlifted up into a powerbomb. Oh, knee to the face. Ah, uh, off the rope. Dolph managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Could be what he needed to ignite a rally. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop for added measure. Producing a trampling. Waistline applied. Great body control. Oh, oh, oh. Absorbing some tough hits now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Not gonna think about picking up the pace a bit. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling.
MVP has been trying to get the crew to follow a dress code of wearing suits. Says it's good for business for everyone behind the scenes to look as sharp as the superstars. But I lug a camera around on my shoulder all day, and a suit is not spec resistant. Can you get him to back off? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from the City of Angels. Weighing in at 211 pounds, Nathaniel Mercer. This athlete was hampered by nagging injuries when he competed on the Indies, but looks to be in tremendous shape tonight. We're looking at a competitor who battled adversity to get here, and he's not going to take this for granted. He is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in his big time match. Man, half amazing, but all business. He's the founder of the Hurt Business. And his opponent, representing the Hurt Business from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 259 pounds. MVP! As a competitor, he captured the United States Championship as a manager, he has led Bobby Lashley to the WWE Championship. Is there nothing MVP can accomplish? After a tough upbringing, nine years spent locked up, MVP is living proof you don't let past failures define you because now all he does is win. When you think of crafty veterans, there are a few people who come to mind more than Montel Montavious Porter, better known as MVP. MVP has dedicated this stage of his career to passing on wisdom and mentoring young superstars, but he can still get it done in the ring, too. True, MVP is a superstar who practices what he preaches, looking to add to his resume here tonight. But don't overlook his opponent, a superstar who is tired of living in the shadows. Knee strikes. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. That unraveled on MVP. I've seen this before. Get ready. a perfectly placed target. Moonsault! Moonsault! He's taken some good hits. Look at this. Snap suplex. Skin red. In the face. Yeah. With the counter. Yeah. Uh oh. And Zulayan. I can't imagine what he has here. Over the top rope. Oh, I don't think he 
Ziggy Star on the move, about to take off. The Spaceman Plancha! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Sliding back in from the floor now. Second row. Are you kidding me? Wow. Guys, that might have been the best moonsault ever. <laughs> Butterfly double under. Reversal from MVP. MVP all set up. We're going balling. You know nothing about B Sacks. And there's MVP practicing what he preaches, getting it done like clockwork. Oh, a nice cover here! Shoulder up before the count started. How'd he do that? Look at him, pride and poise personified. He skirts around it. He's starting to struggle here. For all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. He's got him scouted. win for him here. This win is going to have them on a high for quite some time, I have to believe. Winning's great, Saxton, but they have to start thinking about their next challenge sooner rather than later. This win won't be all that matters much longer.